Welcome back. So I want you to be prepared. This is quite the big mail day. Um, as I've warned you in previous in a previous video, this is there's some absolutely fantastic cards sitting in front of you. Um, the one on top is not bad, but ones later on are really something special. So, let's get right into the cards and see what I was able to find. Starting off, we have a little Al Rosen action. Jersey and auto. It's a sticker auto, but I'll take it. From SP Legendary Cuts, number 7 of 10. So one of the obviously harder Rosen autos to get. And the price was actually very reasonable. I won this at auction. Next up, this is a very, very hard set to find even copies in this condition. Um, and very, very expensive set. So I was absolutely surprised when I won this auction and won this 1941 play ball Morris Arnovich. I'm sorry, 1941 Gaudi Morris Arnovich. For the Arnovich PC. Now we got to take a little step back from the harder things. These are quite a bit easier and much less expensive. Um, nice Greenberg back card from SP Legendary Cuts. Nice little embossed uh, Detroit Tigers D in there. It's from 2002. And then this one was really cheap. I think it was under ten dollars. Um, buy it now. Tops tribute, I believe. Yes, tops tribute from two thousand three. Really shiny cards. A nice little chunk of bat in there. This is one that I remember this set vividly. Um, but I'd never seen this particular Greenberg. This is from Flair, great to the game. Obviously, Hank Greenberg back card with a phenomenal early photo. Numbered to 100 from 2003. So, hadn't seen one of these pop up, so when it did, for a reasonable price, I jumped on it. This one was not nearly as cheap. I'd seen a few of these um, on eBay come up. Uh, a lot of them are buy now or best offer. Was never able to um, figure out a reasonable price, in my opinion, to get one of these. Um, so this is actually a Heritage Auctions win. Jimmy Fox, Lou Gehrig, and Hank Greenberg. Triple Relic, number 20 of 25. This is from 2007 Upper Deck Premier Baseball. This is not the cheapest of cards, but name, mainly because of Gehrig and Fox. Gehrig more than anybody. Um, I wanted to add, given the opportunity, I wanted to add this and got it for a lot cheaper than um, what some people were asking on eBay. So happy to add that. And that was a second card from Heritage first one is coming up later nice little inexpensive buy here 1943 MP & Co Hank Greenberg this is a card some people love some people hate I find it interesting not for the image on the front but as I said before the writing on the back because this was released during his service in World War II. It's a nice little addition there. Next up. So, we got a little Playboy action here. Playboy, Playboy Press. Um, the front of this card is Hank Greenberg. And this is actually a signed version of the card. Not going to bother pulling it out. Let me see if I can get the 
the certificate out from JSA. So it's a card that I have in a slab, just the regular card, which doesn't come up too often. Um, and these signed very, very rarely come up. So being able to get one of these signed, even though it's on the back, I was happy to get it and it was very inexpensive. Um, I think it was about $50. So nice certified auto. Another Hank to add to the collection. And now we're going to get into some really big cards. Starting off, 1941 play ball. Hank Greenberg on card auto. I want to thank BRAW6, Brian, for bringing this to my attention when it showed up on eBay um, for absolutely crazy price. There's a buy it now, and I was not going to debate the price that they had on it. So it's another on card auto, Plain Days auto, or Plain Days card, um, signed by Greenberg, number three in the collection. So very happy to add this. And just an absolutely stunner of a SIG. Very clean. Card's actually in halfway decent shape. I'm not going to say it's the best thing in the world, but decent shape. But nice 1941 card signed by Greenberg. Now the next card <clears throat> I was very surprised to win at, again, at Heritage Auctions. This is eBay in my hand. Um, this last card coming up was Heritage Auctions. And I think it should have gone for somewhere between two and three times the price I actually ended up paying. And that is 1930, well, technically he's 35, batter up Hank Greenberg and a PSA 7. This is the blue variation. Rarely, very rarely do you see these cards in this kind of shape. Um, I have some twos, a two and a half, I think, maybe a three. Um, and those are pricey. Um, the price on these just shoot up um, all over the place. And just like with any vintage, really, once you get, out, get beyond a five, then you start seeing the multipliers. Um, so I put a bid in on this, and it was more of a placeholder bid than anything else because I honestly didn't think I would win for the price I put in there as it turns out it was enough and this card kind of flew under the radar quite a bit and again ended up getting for in my estimation and it's really hard because the comps are few and far between on these in this kind of grade um, probably half if not a third of what it should have gone for so very, very happy to add this to the Greenberg collection. Nice high grade example of that particular card. Tough card in general, high grade, really absolutely mind blowingly kind of impossible at times. So not a bad haul. I warned you and hopefully my little warning lived up to um, your anticipation. Those are the main five. Obviously, we had some very nice kind of runners up. Um, actually, I'm going to put that Arnovich off to the side a little bit because that is an incredibly tough set to find anything for, um, more especially a player that you're actually looking for. Um, but yeah, this is quite the lineup of cards I was able to get for the PC. I'm incredibly happy to have found them. Happy to get them for the price I did, and very grateful for um, Brian for pointing out the 41 play ball when it showed up on eBay. I think it was like 1:30 in the morning, um, and basically completed the transaction. Then one of those crazy times where someone put it up really late, and fortunately, um, I was up and aware of my surroundings and able to purchase it. But that's the end of this particular mail day. Again, kind of a crazy one, um, which I try and do every once in a while. And 
hopefully I'll have to do a little update on the Greenberg PC for y'all because um, the collection is growing quite substantially and hopefully I'll get another video as well up of submitting many of these cards as well as, well as a stack that I ha currently already have to one of the grading companies for authentication for grading um, so I can really kind of add those to the uh, lineup and the box so that's what I got for you this time around and until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect and don't let anybody especially the market or youtuber dictate that to you most importantly have fun and have fun by being active in this community so find your way of participating whether it's making videos watching and commenting going to live streams group chats going to your lcs or local card show or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends the more you put into it the more you'll get out of it the more you'll learn the more your pc will grow the more people you'll meet and the more fantastic friendships you'll form so i thank you very much for joining me hope to see you again have a good one and bye for now.